Yes. Jai Radha Madhava Kunjavi
From the Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 8, Withdrawal of Creation. Yes. Yes. Withdrawal of the Cosmic Creation. Creations. Text number 2 of the 8th Canto, Chapter 8, The Churning of the Milk Ocean. Amagyana timirandasya kenangyana salakaya Chaksurun vilitam yena tasmai shi gurave nama Sri Chaitanya manovistam stapitam yena bhutale Swayam rupa kadamayam dadati swapadantikam Vandeham shi guru se juta padakamalang shi guru vaisnabamscha 
Shirupamsakrajatan Sahagana Raghunatan Vita Tam Sajipam Sadvaitam Sadvadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shiradha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Sibhishakam Vitam Sya E Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostate Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavanispari Vishabhano Shuti Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kalpa Tarubhyasya Kripa Shindu Vyayivacha Patitanam Pavanevyo Paishnavevyo Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Sivas Adigaura Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Text 2 Tam Agni Hutrim Risayo Jagru Brahma Vadina Yagnasya Devayanasya Medayaya Habisedripa Tam Agni Hotrem Risayo Jagru Brahma Bhadina Yagnasya Deva Yanasya Medhyaya Bishendripa Tam Agni Hotring Risayo Jagru Brahma Vadina Yagnasya Devayanasya Medhyaya Havisendripa Word for word translation Tam That cow Agnihotrim, absolutely necessary for the production of yogurt, milk, and ghee to offer as oblations in the fire. Hmm. Risaya, sages who perform such sacrifices. Jagru took in charge. Brahma Vadina, because such sages know the Vedic ritualistic ceremonies. Yag ceremonies. Yagyasya of sacrifice. Devayanasya which fulfill the desire to be elevated to the higher planetary systems and to Brahmaloka, Medhyaya, fit for offering oblations. Habishay, 
for the sake of pure clarified butter. Nripa, O King. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, Sila Prabhupada, Sila Prabhupada Ki Jai. O King Parikshit, great sages who were completely aware of the Vedic ritualistic ceremonies took charge of that surabi cow which produced all the yogurt, milk, and ghee absolutely necessary for offering oblations into the fire. They did this just for the sake of pure ghee, which they wanted for the performance of sacrifices to elevate themselves to the higher planetary systems up to Brahma Loka. Purport. Surabi cows are generally found in the Vaikunta planets as described in Brahma Samhita. Lord Krishna and his planet, Goloka Prindavan, engaging engages in tending the Surabi cows. Surabhi Rabi Palayantam. These cows are the Lord's pet animals. From the Surabi cows one can take as much milk as one needs and one may milk these cows as many times as he desires. In other words, the Surabi cow can yield milk unlimitedly. Milk is necessary for the performance of yagya. Sages know how to use milk to elevate human society to the perfection of life. Since cow protection is recommended everywhere in the Shastras, the Brahma bodies took charge of the Surabi cow in which the demons were not very interested. Tam Agni Hotrim Risayo Jagrur Brahma Vadina Yagyasya Devayanasya Medhyaya Vishenripa O King Pariksit, great sages who were completely aware of the Vedic ritualistic ceremonies took charge of that surabi cow, which produced all the yogurt, milk, and ghee absolutely necessary for offering oblations into the fire. They did this just for the sake of pure ghee, which they wanted for the performance of sacrifices to elevate themselves to the higher planetary systems up to Brahma Loka. So this verse clearly mentions about the importance of cow. But in the verse specifically, it is says not just an ordinary cow, but a surabi cow. Surabi cow is very rare. It is not an existent. Uh, doesn't exist in the material world. Um, well, at least 5,000 years ago, all those cows that Lord Krishna uh, tend to or 
taken care of. They are called surabi cows. Hmm. Chintamani prakara sadma sukarpa viksa Lakshmi sahasrata samrava sebhyamanam Govinda mari purusam tamaham bhajami as like in the spiritual world also, the unlimited Lakshmi Devis, who is always the company, accompanying the Supreme Lord. Benum kam rantam harabinda dalaya taksam. What's that? Um, yes. And the Supreme Lord also is always accompanied by Venu or the flute. Uh, so especially uh, these pets, he says here, these are Lord Krishna's pet animals. Um, Surabir abipalayam tam Lakshmi sahasata sambrama sevyamanam Govinda maripuru samtamaham bachami As we were mentioning from our last meeting yesterday uh, the Supreme Lord is never alone either we see a picture of Krishna playing with the flute his uh, eternal accompany accompanied eternally by the flute. Uh, this is one of the four extra qualities of the Supreme Lord. Uh, he's always with the flute, he's always uh, so uh, he's always accompanied by his eternal associates. And these cows that is always near Krishna or besides Krishna. You've seen a picture of Govinda. Govinda means one who pleases the senses and one who pleases the cows. Go. And cows also, we call them Go Mata. Mother cow. So Surabi cows are generally found on the Vaikuntha planets. That means the spiritual world, the spiritual sky. And Lord Brahma also in his um, meditation, Lord Krishna showed him this uh, spiritual world where there are unlimited surabi cows. And the cows that roam around, especially in Vrindavan, uh, in the spiritual world, and also 5,000 years ago when Lord Krishna performed his pastimes here in the material world, uh, in the planet Earth, specifically Vrindavan. It's like in every universe there is a Brindavan where the Supreme Lord in the material world will perform his pastimes. Uh, it's like uh, an ordinary human being taking birth and then performing superhuman activities. So, yes, Goloka Brindavan. Goloka means planet of the cows. Go, loka means planet, and it says that if you wish to go back home, back to Godhead, specifically Goloka Vrindavan, which is the topmost planet in the spiritual sky, it's like here in the material world, uh, in our universe, the topmost planet is Brahma Loka, the abode or the planet of the topmost Jiva, 
in our universe, Brahma, Lord Brahma. So yes, in the spiritual world, Goloka Vrindavan is the topmost planet of the cows. So if you wish to go to Goloka Vrindavan, you should learn how to love the cows. Mm. It's like in the, yeah, just like it says that if you love me, love my dogs. Right? If you love me, love my dogs. That means if we want to develop love for Krishna also, uh, we should try to develop love for his eternal associates like the cows. Um, and it's not so difficult to do this. Loving cows, developing loving, loving relationship with the cows means protecting them. Because the cows especially, um, it says that the next life of the cows are, will be um, human beings. This is how, this is how the uh, reincarnation or the karmic reaction, uh, they're animals in a mode of goodness, <clears throat> specifically the products that has been produced, mainly the milk, um, this is considered as like the blood of the cow. Hmm. We feed grass to the cows, and then the cows will produce milk. Uh, if they're being protected, that means they're being sheltered properly, they're being fed properly. It's like in Vrindavan, uh, I stayed in our Goshala, Bhaktivedanta Swami Goshala, and every day there'll be a tractor will be bringing a truckload of busha, you know, this uh, grass, and we have a cutter. In the morning and in the evening, they will cut grass, and then we will feed them to, to the cows. Um, also, we will give them gur, gur. And we will make this um, ladu made of gore and different items also. Gore and also the busha mixed together. And uh, devotees will come and they will feed, they will feed the cows. And also they, 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 they will brush, they will brush their back and and uh, rub their necks, you know, clean, clean the cows in this way. And as you can see, our cows, we have about 450 cows in Vrindavan, in our Bhaktivedanta Swami Goshala, and they look all very happy and healthy, very strong, Healthy means, you know, like uh, not sickly, of course. Sometimes they get sick due to weather. Um, and, but they look very fat also. Fat compared to um, other Goshalas. There's some other Goshalas also. But they're not as healthy and happy, looking happy. But not all the cows... Uh, that we have in Vrindavan, they give milk. Some of them, they give milk, uh, and they don't give milk not until they have 
uh, small calf. Uh, the milk is there, but somehow it's, it will not come out not until they have a small calf. The affection is there that when they, uh, they have a calf, automatically milk will flow. Will, milk will be there. It's like the mother. Our mother also had milk, but the milk will not come out, not until there is a baby, right? If the baby is there, then the milk will come out naturally. So, yes, the cows, very important, especially in Vedic, that's okay, that's okay. Vedic uh, sacrifices because the main ingredient in the Vedic sacrifice um, is ghee, clarified butter. The clarified butter comes from milk. And Surabi cows, they give unlimited milk. Uh, unlike our cows, or modern day cows, they will only give milk a certain time in the day, in the morning and in the evening. Hmm. Morning and the evening. Sometimes even only uh, once a day. Um, but these Surabi cows, Kama Denu, it's called Kama, Kama Denu. Uh, you can milk them any time of the day and there is no shortage, there is no stoppage of milk flowing from their others. Um, yes, we, we, we have, uh, uh, that's why this milk is very, very important for Vedic sacrifices. One can take milk as one needs, and one may milk these cows as many times as he desires. And milk, especially when we drink cow's milk, he says that this is a complete food. Mm. It's like the six Goswamis of Vrindavan, namely Rup. Rupa Goswami, Sanatan Goswami, Raghunath Bhatt Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami, Jiva Goswami, Gopal Bhatt, yes, Gopal Bhatt Goswami. They're all, they can sustain their, themselves by just drinking milk or buttermilk. Just a few cups. Uh, it says that the six Goswamis, they they will only drink cup or a couple or a few cups of buttermilk as their source of substance, and sometimes they will even forget to to eat. They're fully absorbed in Krishna consciousness. Always the thought of Krishna is there and they're always uh, conversing about the topics in relation to the Supreme Lord. So it's a complete food in itself. All the nutritious, all the minerals, all the vitamins that one may need to survive. Um, and be alive, it's, uh, it's, everything is in the milk. Um, that is from cow's milk. Unfortunately, today's milk is being diluted with so many ingredients. Um, that's why it is, it is, uh, very, very important if one would like to, to get pure cow's milk 
to have their own cows. Even in India, it is very rare to find cow's milk unless you have your own cow. And then you, you, you milk the cow and then you will, you will be sure that you are, you are getting cow's milk. Otherwise, uh, if you buy it in the market, they will say it is cow's milk, but then it is buffalo milk. Um, right now, even in Vrindavan, there are more buffaloes than cows. <clears throat> and there, there are two different milk. Buffalo milk is very, very, uh, if you take it, then instead of just, yeah, because milk is considered as a food for the brain. Food for the brain as well. So the buffalo milk, if you take buffalo milk, as Prabhupada says, you will also uh, get buffalo brain. In buffalo brain because uh, it's not really that bad but then buffaloes are tend to be like lazy and but their body are stout and strong so if you take uh, buffalo meal <clears throat> your body may um, have very very strong features like the Buffaloes, but then if you drink cow's milk, then the brain tissues will be refined. Uh, taking cow's milk refines uh, the brain tissues of one who takes and drink, and by having the brain tissues to be refined, then one can easily understand the subject matter of supreme absolute truth. One can easily assimilate the knowledge and remember all of this different uh, knowledge has been given in the sastras like Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. So yes, cow's milk is very important. Um, and the Surabi cows can yield milk unlimitedly, unlimitedly, as much as you need, the Surabi cows will give. And milk is necessary for the performance of yagya, uh, this Vedic uh, yagya, ritualistic, uh, sacrifices, which is mainly uh, yagyas, usually <clears throat> uh, not just to please the Supreme Lord, but also to fulfill one's material desires to have um, a place or to enjoy uh, in the higher planes, just like uh, in the heavenly planets. Hmm. He says that the Vedas are mainly deal with the Karmakanda section. Um, the, those who want to enjoy the material world, they will perform Vedic sacrifices as prescribed, mentioned in the Sastras or in the Vedas which ultimately will yield one to have fruit of gain. Fruit of gain means activities which the desire will have one to enjoy the material world. So mainly uh, it's like this uh, Vedic sacrifices, this yagya that's going on, especially in the age of Kali, hmm, to please the demigods, 
by pleasing the demigods, they will attain their material desires because demigods also are easy to, to please. Uh, very rare that the yagyas will be there to please the Supreme Lord, Lord Vishnu. So these Vedic sacrifices uh, are being performed. So, and uh, the sages, the Brahma bodies, as mentioned here, the Brahma bodies, they took care uh, of this one cow that first came out while the demigods and the demons, they were churning the ocean of milk, having, having uh, the pivot as uh, the Supreme Lord, the expansion of the Supreme Lord, Kurma. So yes, um, it says the sages know how to use milk to elevate human society to the perfection of life. But these Brahma bodies are doing this, especially, uh, ultimately, uh, if one worship the Supreme Lord, then one go back home, back to God, especially the yagya in this day and age. The sacrifice, the greatest sacrifice, the greatest austerity, the greatest worship of the Supreme Lord is the Sankirtan yagya, the chanting of the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Uh, that is the topmost yagya sacrifice. Uh, but the demons, uh, they don't take advantage of this yagya because their main focus is just to enjoy their senses with the sense objects. They don't accept the position of the Supreme Lord. They don't accept His instructions. They know, they can understand that there is Supreme, but they deviate from the instructions coming from the Supreme Lord or His representatives. That's why they are demons. Ultimately also they are devotees, but then they become covered up very heavily by the modes of passion and modes of ignorance. And therefore, they don't accept any authority. They are thinking that they are the authority. I can choose whatever I like to do. No one can tell me what to do. I know what I'm doing. And therefore, they are demons. They're only being, uh, they only follow the dictations of their mind and most of the times they speculate. Uh, all they want to do is enjoy. It's like Hiranyakashipu. Hiranyakashipu. One who enjoys what? Gold and bed. Maybe water bed. If you have a water bed, you can enjoy nicely the comfort. Um, Hiranya Kashipu. So, yes, um, it is not the goal of life. The goal of life is to perform sacrifices whereby our existence will improve and eventually we'll go back home, back to Godhead. So we stop here. This is like a continuation of yesterday's um, verse. And following this, different living beings will start to manifest. Any question? Any question about the cows? 
Very soon we'll acquire cows here, right? We cannot eat here cows. Huh? We cannot eat here. Yeah. Nila Madhapu says uh, we should acquire first some land. Oh yes, yes, there is a difference, uh, there are different breeds of cows, uh, there are different breeds of cows in the world, and what's the name of that hybrid cow in India? Gip. Huh? Gip. Gip? Gip got the sheep law here. Oh yeah? Uh, there, there's another word that I'm looking for. That I'm looking for. Um, which is, they have long, long, uh, the big hump. Huh? I'm looking for a word. Uh, just like uh, in other countries, they also give nice milks. Uh, it's like uh, in Switzerland, they have uh, different kinds of, um, the, their cows there also are different, you know, they have a white and black color, right? It's very, it's, it's rare to see that in, in India, mostly brown, white, but the best cow that gives the best milk is uh, black color. Like Mother Yasoda, she would choose specifically a number, chosen cows, that will give the best milk because she wants to give the best milk to Krishna and the best milk sweets, best yogurt, best ghee, best butter to Lord Krishna. But Lord Krishna will still go out of the home, of their home, and he would uh, steal the milk products of the neighboring gopis. Every day, these gopis will come to see Mother Yasoda and complain to Mother Yasoda. This naughty boy, son of yours, will come every day and steal our butter and yogurt. The Mother Yasoda was surprised. I was giving my child the topmost milk. And these cows specifically are blackish in color. If you can find a black cow, female black cow, that can give the highest um, highest form of vitamins and minerals and everything that one can have compared to others. Uh, I know Sanat and Prabhu, he always wanted to get one of those. But even in our uh, Goshala, this is difficult to find this. You know, like having, having a very long, you know, like on the neck, you know, they have this long... Yes, it's like a cloth. Yeah, it go, <laughs> you can go like this, right? Yeah, yeah, it's very soft and it's soggy. Uh, but also at the back, they have a big hump. I forget now what it's in it. In, in America, the cows, the way they milk the cows, not all, but mostly is by using this uh, machine that sucks the milk out of the others. And this is very painful. It's very painful. 
yeah, yeah. It, it's sucking too much, then it's not the same anymore. See, it depends on how the milk is being taken. It's been taken, it's like ahingsa, is what you call it, ahingsa milk. Like Gita Nagari's uh, milk is called ahinsa milk, right? Because uh, the milk is being produced from the cows by, by hand, this ahingsa. I tried it before, but you know, not so expert. And actually, there is also one item coming from the cow which is uh, as good and can cure a lot of diseases and cancer sometimes. Cow urine, go ark, or go mutra, go mutra, because go ark means it's a distilled, distilled. We sell them one of our products, and uh, go mata products in Vrindavan. And it's like every day when we go on Parikrama, we go to Yamuna, have darshan. Then we come back, we pass by the Goshala. So the Gwalior, one of the Gwalior is there. Um, it'll be ready for us, like a uh, few mLs. 100, something like that, 50 mLs of uh, cow urine. And, and this is coming from, from uh, virgin calves, virgin calves, young, young ones. And uh, there's a certain way how to get the uh, the, uh, the, the, the urine, the cow urine, they're so expert. Go like this, go like this, go like this, and psh, the milk will come out, the, the, the urine will come out. Uh, sometimes, because they already pass urine. The best is the earliest in the morning, the first one that will come out. Um, and then we will drink this, and lowers blood pressure, lowers blood sugar. It cures so many diseases. In the beginning, when you taste, it's close. You can taste a little bit like, uh, there is some like tinge of taste of milk, but then, uh, but it's very healthy. Uh, sometimes. Huh? Yeah, many devotees go there all day to, to get this. But the best is in the morning. So uh, it, it is like in, in the beginning there is like a, a salty taste or something like that. Then it becomes sweet after a few minutes. So yes, as good as milk is the cow's urine. But then in the West or those who doesn't have proper knowledge, they will say, cows urine. <laughs> they will not, they will not uh, accept it. It's like uh, the yogis, all of some yogis, they have uh, therapy. They drink their own urine in the morning. But their, their lifestyle is pure though. You know, they don't eat junk foods. Mm -hmm. They're vegetarians or presidarians. And, uh, you know, it's like the cows. The cows, they, they only eat grass, mm -hmm. natural. Um, so the byproducts of what they, they actually give the human society is utmost important, very important. Okay, any other points? I can't remember now, there's a certain name, of course. Um, 
that they get, especially if they if you go to Gujarat, because now killing cows especially is prohibited. There's a ban in Gujarat, Haryana also, in some parts of Maharashtra, different parts of India, cow killing, uh, slaughter houses being closed. <coughs> But still there, those who want to eat meat, there's a certain way how they can manage to eat meat. It should be banned all over India. The land of Dharma set an example. Mm -mm. Any other points? Question? Yes? My country, yes? My is small, like what? God. What's that? My country. In your country? Small cow. Small cow? Calf? Cow. Yes? In Nepal. In Nepal? I take from one glass. Yes. Small cow. Small cows, even small cows. Yeah, tasty. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, in Nepal, you, 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 you can see, I think in Kathmandu, you can, you can see a, a murti of cow, like in the middle of the uh, uh, public place. In some places in India, it's like that also. But I've seen also in the Philippines, in uh, Bulacan. When we go on Harinam, we can see there is a murti of the cow, but they don't worship the cow. They eat cows. Hare Krishna. Mostly cows from Orisha, Bengal, Nepal, very small. Very small. But their milk is very tasty. Oh, it's uh, very it's powerful. Like vegan cow, Western cows. Very powerful. If you just boil it, it becomes brown. Uh huh. And without putting sugar, Oh. You feel that this is sugar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you drink milk straight from the cow, then you don't need to boil because some, after some time, um, there is some bacteria that gets in there. That's why we, uh, after receiving the milk from the source, the outside source, we will boil the milk three times, two, three, and that way then we can drink. And he says that if you drink milk, you should put a little bit of sugar or sweetener. Otherwise, if you don't, then you're just like drinking water. But in, in, in our culture, See, they say if you put sugar in the milk, into milk, that means you are insulting the milk. You are enhancing the milk. Insulting the milk. Insulting? Yes. Oh, really? Because milk itself is nectar. I know. That's true. Yeah. The Indian cows, mm -hmm. milk is automatically sweet, natural mm -hmm. sweet, you know. Mm -hmm. Not like the Jersey cows, you know. Yes. They put sugar, this, their milk. Oh, we, 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 and, and milk should be drank gram. Hot. Oh, yes. It has yes. to be hot. My because if it's cold, cold, then it, it, it will get cough. produce mucus. My grandfather should do as much as milk out, he drink. Yeah, that's the best. The <laughs> it's still a little warm. Yeah. Okay, so we stop here. No other question from the internet? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Bolo. Of the hybrid cow is Jersey cow. Jersey? Yes. Oh yes. Even in India? Yeah, now we have. Yes. Well, here is Jersey. Now you brought from the, now in, 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 in now we have some Jersey cow in Bindabal also. And we have in India, Mayak also. Is that, is that the, the best? India also. Golden Madhavu is here and he's saying that India also Jersey cow. Okay, Jersey.
Where is this coming from? New Jersey? <laughs> it's New Jersey. It's a breed. That's why it's called Jersey cow. Jersey cow. I think we talk about gear. Gujarati cow. Gear. Gear. The air also very big. The air is very long. And this position like so yeah. many cloth like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very soft. Okay. Grantaraj Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai. Sila Prabhupada ki jai. Nitai Gaur Premanandi Hari Hari Bhav. Hare Krishna.